Hi, I'm Lindsay, and yes, you can winterize your inflatable hot tub. Hello, everyone. So I'm here just outside of uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and a lot of people had questions as to whether or not the, um, the cell use spa would hold up through winter and we have modified our salu spa so that it can handle winters here in Canada and so far so good today we are at um, oh, well overnight last night I think it hit about minus 23 celsius um, and right now it's minus 15 feels like minus 23 so I'll show you what we have done so we have built a foam box with R10 insulation, so a couple inches thick, um, to be able to handle our cellulose spa through the winter. So we put foam on the bottom and we did a foam cover uh, for the whole thing. We didn't seal the bottom area because we were worried if people were enjoying the hot tub um, if you splashed over, we didn't want to seal the water into the box area so that we can get a little bit of flow out there. Um, what we did is we actually did, um, and you can see I actually have a bag that I keep on there to keep the cover from blowing off on some really uh, windy winter days. But we've done the cover so that you can actually fold it up in half to check on it. The only thing I worry about is if I take off the vinyl cover, it's so cold that it would get very brittle quickly. So on those super cold days, I haven't been going out in the tub, um, but you could, you would just have to put that cover into the house so that it doesn't get brittle because it'll have water on it and you don't want it to freeze up right away and um, damage the vinyl, okay? One of the thing, one of the things we did include was building the foam box to incorporate the hot tub. We actually didn't do it separate. And the reason why is that the heat from the water and the tub will actually help to keep the thermostat area even warmer. And we built the box fairly large around so that it would have air to breathe. So when you put on the bubbler or you want, uh, it, it requires some air. Um, for circulation so we wanted to make sure it still had some room around the box and we wanted to keep the heat in from the water in the tub as part of keeping that unit nice and warm as well. Okay and so we have the Salyu Spa Hawaii and you can see you can see it's steaming here um, ready to go nice and clean nice and hot still at 104 and uh, yeah, and this is through a minus 23 overnight last night. So doing well. My only concern, I do watch um, for power issues because if the power were to go out, then we might run into issues. So hopefully no big power issues this winter um, overnight. But if there is, we'll have a chance to test it out and see how long the insulation lasts for the heat. Thanks for watching.